In this lesson, we'll cover the Envy remote control. While mainly self-explanatory, there are some tips and tricks that will come in handy. We'll cover using the remote in RF and IR mode and the remote control dongles. We'll also review the default functions of all the buttons and touch on customization. Let's dig in. Here you can see the Envy backlit remote control. This gives you a great idea how it looks in a dark theater. There's options to have the backlight automatically come on when you pick it up, which is the default. If you're the type that prefers not to have any backlight, you can customize that and turn it off. You can also change the duration of the backlight. We'll touch on that in just a bit. But let's now take a look at the remote control functions and get into how to use it. Let's start by looking at the user manual for the MVRC2 backlight remote control. You can find this on our website at madvrmv.com under the resources section. We're going to skip along right to the setup. First thing to keep in mind is the remote supports both RF and IR modes. Typically, you'll want to use it in RF mode. The range can be up to 30, 40, possibly 50 feet, depending on the environment, how much interference, and the construction of the room, such as concrete or drywall and wood and so forth. The IR mode is handy if you want to learn the functions into your remote control, but generally most people use it in RF mode. We'll get into how to change it to IR in just a second, should you wish to. There's a remote control dongle that goes in the back of the unit. We covered that in the unboxing. You can see part of it here. This plugs into the slot in the back that's labeled RF. You'll notice this blue dot, which we've also covered in a previous lesson. This tells you that the remote control dongle is compatible with the RC2 backlit remote control. If you are upgrading from an MV Mark 1, it's important to know that you must replace your Mark 1 dongle with a Mark 2 dongle. Otherwise, it will not be able to talk to the RC2 backlit remote control that's part of the Mark 2 series. If you look here, you'll see this is inside the battery compartment and you've got your two AAA batteries that come with the, with the remote. You've got a slider switch for both IR and RF mode. So you just wanna go ahead and slide that to one side or the other, depending on which mode you'd like to use. There is an IR dongle also in the back of the unit that needs to be plugged in when you're using IR mode. And conversely, when you're using RF mode, you need that black dongle that we just looked at installed. By default, it is in RF mode and it is paired with the dongle. Another thing you want to be conscious of is taking a look at the MB firmware. Now, especially if your unit is a little bit older, just make sure that you're running the latest MB firmware. You can find that in the MB configuration menu under firmware. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the button functions. And we're going to zoom in and really kind of dig into that next. So you can see here, you've got an activity light. This will flash uh, green if you're using an RF mode and red when you're in IR mode. You've got your power button and then you have your information button, configuration button, settings button, and let's skip ahead and talk about the profiles button. So those are essentially the four main menus and we're gonna get into that in an upcoming lesson, but just know that generally there's four main menus in the Envy information, configuration, settings, and profiles. These buttons bring up those menus directly. You also have the D-pad as you would expect. The buttons work just like you think they would. You can press and hold these and they will start to repeat faster and faster. The OK button is what you'd expect. There is a shortcut here. You can press the OK button to bring up the information menu, just the same as if you hit the information key here. Back button is also as you would expect. And these are what we call our flex keys. The flex keys are programmed by default to bring up different options or to be able to do A-B comparisons, such as turning off the Envy's dynamic toe mapping and letting the display do its dynamic toe mapping. So you can really compare the two differences. It's also useful for things like comparing motion AI and changing different strengths so you can find out which option do you really like to run the best and being able to go back and forth. Now, the functions that we've all talked about here are the default functions, but you can actually change those however you want. We'll just kind of flip through here and see what else we have to cover. Um, the customization of the buttons, we're not going to get into that right here. We are going to cover that in a future lesson. 
um, just know that if you go to the configuration menu, which we just learned how to get to that menu, and you scroll till you get to the remote control configuration, you can see how all those uh, flex keys that we just talked about and all the button functions are defined and you can change those around to suit whatever style that you prefer. Um, then you also can control the remote control customization as well. Uh, I mentioned earlier the pickup sensor activation, so you can control whether or not the pickup sensor uh, actually activates the backlight. You can change the backlight duration. You can disable the backlight if you prefer. There's a battery saver mode that you can read about here that you can turn on and off that is on by default. Low battery indication uh, will come up on the screen when that happens. There's ways to factory reset the remote control. In the event that you ever need to replace an RF dongle, there's instructions in here how to repair that with the Envy remote. So that's it for this lesson. We hope you enjoyed it, and let's get on to the next one.